Well, unless you've been living in a cave, you know who I am. This is Arn Anderson, the enforcer, former member of the original Four Horsemen. When I'm at home, and that's not much, when I'm kicking back in my lazy chair and I'm watching sports, I'm watching Fox Got Game. Joining us now is a man who makes his profession the hard way, literally. Chad Lale is a pro wrestler, wrestles as Gunner in Impact Wrestling for TNA uh, Promotions. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. How's everything going? Wonderful, wonderful. All right, I'm taking a look at you, and your eye has several different colors outside the normal eye color. <laughs> what <right>. happened? <laughs> uh, a little bit of a... Uh... Impact in the ring, I guess you can say. You know, uh, a lot of the things that happen on Impact Wrestling and in and outside of the ring are not as as uh, fake as people would call it. You know, there's a lot of uh, it's, it's a physical sport, and obviously you can tell by my face that you know there's no getting getting away from it. How hard is it nowadays to try and earn a living as a pro wrestler? It's, it's a lot harder for guys now because you don't get seen as much. But back in the 70s and 80s, you would have uh, some 30 territories or so, and guys could wrestle in Florida, then out to St. Louis, maybe over to California, up to the Northeast, whatever. Now, as you're saying, uh, there's two or three national territories. If you're not part of that group, how much money can someone make with these small independent territories? You know, you're really not going to make a living now unless you are unless you are part of the two big promotions you know, or you know um, I mean you, know, you got guys like Adam Pierce and um, you know the Sheik that are part of the NWA that they are making a living. See but you're throwing out names that probably only the hardest of hardcore fans recognize. You're absolutely right and like I said if you're not with the WWE or Impact Wrestling TNA you're not really making a huge living off anything. Is it fun? I love my job. It's something I've wanted to do since I was four years old. I'm 29 now and, and uh, you know, I talk to my dad all the time and he's super proud of me because I'm living my dream. I can come home from TV tapings and sit on the couch and watch TV, go to the gym. I'm getting paid to work out, you know, I'm getting paid to, to do what I've wanted to do since I was a kid. Yes, it is fun. But as you said, it's physical. Again, I'm looking at your left eye, you're sporting a very nice shiner, your nose is several different colors. I mean, to a lot of people, that's not fun, that's pain. No, it's, it's, there's still a lot of pain involved, and, you know, after the cameras go off and you're in your hotel room or you're driving, you know, for six or seven hours between shows, um, it's one of those things where you're like, wow, I'm beat and I'm drained. But then you got to think, I could be doing something that I don't love to do. You know, it's obviously like a football player. I'm sure they're beat up a lot, too, and, uh, but they still love going out on, that, you know, on the field and playing. You know, I feel like you got to promote yourself. you got to, you know, your own Internet, your own T-shirts or whatever. And, um, but it's... My mentality is to go, uh, you know, go to the impact zone in Orlando right. or wherever show I go to, independent, and just keep trying to make a name for myself. What is the one thing about wrestling, from your standpoint, you know, from someone who hasn't made it but is obviously climbing the ladder, that would surprise people? It's not just what we do in the ring. You know, these people have to remember there's so many people on the internet either bashing you or, or talking good about you. There's so many things that you don't see on TV. Um, the things we do for the fans. Uh, part of house shows with TNA and Impact Wrestling is every house show they send all the superstars out to talk and meet and greet with the people. And that's something that, that Dixie uh, Carter takes pride in. And Dixie Carter is the owner of the company that yes, you work for, yes, right? Yes, sure is. And it's something that we take pride in is, is getting out there and touching and, and talking to the fans. It's something that's awesome because they're the ones coming in and supporting our company. You wrestle as a heel, as a bad guy. How hard is it for you to maintain that uh, image when talking to you right now, you're a really good guy? There's still a mystique about wrestling. And I think people still want to see that storyline and, and know that Outside the ring, Chad Lell, um, Gunner, mm -hmm. is a nice guy. Inside the ring, you could still show that intensity about your style in the ring and make the people believe or forget who you are outside the ring. I think that's the magic of pro wrestling. That's got to feel good when you know that everyone knows, and yet you still suck them into whatever storyline you're trying to uh, bring, of, bring forth. That is, and it's a goal of mine every time I step in the ring is to do my job in the ring and make people believe that if they talk to me the wrong way, I'm going to rip their head off. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> so, Hardest shot you've ever taken in the ring? Ooh, probably uh, in Georgia. It was in Cornelia, Georgia. It was an NWA show, and me and uh, Iceberg, a guy down there was having a match for their heavyweight title. He, uh, he come down with this nice piece of sharp wood, and you can see I got a nice scar right there. And <laughs> lacerated an artery in my forehead, so it's probably the hardest shot I've taken right there. Hardest shot you've given? Uh, Probably a chair shot to somebody oh. just to kind of knock the whole bottom piece of the chair off. <laughs> <laughs> he so. says with a big smile yeah, on his absolutely. face. Absolutely, I love it. <laughs> what does that feel like? 
What it's, does that uh, feel like? A chair shot is not aluminum, put it that way. I remember growing up as a kid, my uncle would go, oh, this is aluminum chairs, and no. No, Uncle Jim, it's not aluminum chairs. You know, it's uh, it is definitely something that's you know, as guys had concussions, guys had their heads split open, and and some people's had their careers ended with it. So it wow. hurts. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming down, spending a few minutes with us. I know you live outside the Charlotte area, so thank you very much for coming on down here. Continued success in your career. We look forward to flicking on the tube and one day see you with the belt. That's it. That's my goal. Thank you very much. All right, buddy. The one and only Chad Lael, known as Gunner in Impact Wrestling TNA. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir.